All right, welcome to our scene on Burkholderia Capacia, represented over here by Bert, who is holding his favorite spaceship. So Bert, holding the spaceship for Burkholderia Capacia. We can see from Bert over here that Burkholderia Capacia is a gram-negative rod. We can see that his body is a rod, and we can also see that he's red, which reminds us that it's gram-negative, since gram-negative bacteria stain red in gram staining due to its thin peptidoglycan wall. And if we take a look behind Bert over here, we see a scanning electron microscopic picture of what Burgolderia capacia looks like. As we can see, that it is a rod. Now let's back out over here. So Bert over here was showing off his spaceship. He loves this spaceship, and he was showing it off to a few people over here. First, he was showing it off to the gnome. We have this gnome guy over here, and this gnome guy represents, in our videos, pneumonia. And this is because Burkholderia capacia causes pneumonia, especially in immunocompromised patients. And if we take a look next to this gnome over here, we see the two sisters over here. And they're fighting with roses. Sisters fighting with roses for cystic fibrosis. And this reminds us that Burkholderia capacia classically affects patients with cystic fibrosis. And the disease is classically transmitted from patients with cystic fibrosis. If we take a look behind these sisters over here, we see this anatomy model over here. I know it is kind of random. And we also note that this anatomy model underwent a lung transplant, which we've shaded in blue. But now these lungs explode. Quite intense. This reminds us that infection of Burkholderia capacia is a relative contraindication to undergoing lung transplant. And this is due to the association with poor outcomes. Burkholderia capacia is often treated with multiple drugs, and this is because it has developed multi-drug resistance. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene. Take care. <laughs>